ENTJs are the commander personality because they are visionaries and leaders. They are all for conquering the world. What do they need in a partner then? The matching personalities for ENTJs are refined, visually appealing, and sophisticated. INTPs are considered the best match for ENTJs because they will help them grow intellectually. Another reason is that INTPs are fine with ENTJs leading the relationship. The dominant cognitive functions of ENTJ are extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and judging, which can play a key role in their dating and relationships. Here are seven facts to know about ENTJ relationships. Number seven, loyal partners. ENTJs are loyal at the workplace, friendships, and relationships. They dedicate time to things they value because they are always sure of the positive things that can come out of it. They dedicate time to making things work and using the open approach to see everyone is on the same page. They are open to discussing issues and fixing things, although they sometimes get confrontational. Still, they are honest and have no desire to play games with their intentions. They do not find any satisfaction with cheating or manipulations. They give their partners everything and look forward to receiving the same. Number 6. Direct and Open ENTJs are creative in all aspects of their lives. They will take charge and let you know their thoughts once they spark an initial attraction to you. They are going to keep doubts out of your mind. ENTJs only start relationships when they are confident that it will lead somewhere. They are big picture people and always look to a lifetime of commitment with whomever they are currently with. They might have some awkward moments when their behavior is questionable because they are obsessed with themselves or cannot fully express their feelings. Yet they are the ones to give you the dream relationship. They will plan exotic vacations and expensive dates and they end those things with enthusiastic and imaginative moves in bed. As we said from the start, they are creative and plan ahead of everything to ensure your experience is complete. Number 5. Argumentative ENTJs like discussions and long conversations. They are also thrilled about being right all the time. This can be valuable in standing your ground with your craft or career, yet it can be unhealthy in relationships. All relationships have moments of disagreement, yet ENTJs might use these moments to defend poor behavior. They do not know when to withdraw and sometimes spend too much time providing arguments for things. This could be offensive and come off as a lack of self-awareness. Reading the room and knowing when to apologize and move on is a skill that ENTJs have to learn more. Number 4. Hard to be aware of others' needs ENTJs have a hard time relating to other people's issues. They are decisive, love to spend time around others, and are highly motivated to focus on the bigger picture. However, when it comes to paying attention to other people's emotions and interpreting them, they may be at a loss. Since they do not communicate any emotions, they leave it to chance whenever someone else does. They do not understand most of their partner's demands and could be considered arrogant lovers. The truth is that they are not used to being on the listening side of things, and they only listen to themselves. Number 3. High Standards ENTJs being commanders mean they will take charge of all situations, and it also means that they will plan their entire time with their partners. They like discipline and orderliness in everything they do. They uphold the binaries of identities and separate the man's job from the woman's role in a relationship. They are also very consistent with communication and other plans for the relationship. They hardly spring any new ideas on you, and all their plans for you are sophisticated. They like to offer and expect the highest form of all standards. Number 2. Dominating ENTJs are naturally dominant in their lives. They will also dominate their relationships when they are with you. They will impress you with new things and create a pattern for the relationship. They like people they share interests with. If the ENTJ likes museum and record store dates, they would like to get some on that level. They are interested in superficial people who lack interest in their work or things that make them happy. They like to analyze things and challenge the potential partner to see their commitment. They will thoroughly theorize the relationship and benchmark it with what they have in their minds. You have to try to match up to it. Number 1. Relationships for the long term ENTJs are not easily tied up in relationships. 
they value their friendships and social currencies, so they are not rushing to be in relationships. They analyze their potential partners and confirm that they stand a chance long-term before they make a move. They are not ones to date for its fun, and they are all for the long-term and seeing the bigger picture. They are not quick to break up and struggle after breakups, and that is where they are most vulnerable and emotional. They can pick themselves up by socializing, but they will not enter another relationship until they are sure. ENTJs could be the best partners due to their commitment and sophistication. They are not directly in tune with their emotions, but they can be subtly caring and provide the world if you ask. What else do you know about the ENTJ to relationships? How are ENTJs' parents? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.